On the 31st of May 2013, a Boeing 737-800 passenger aircraft on the approach to Eindhoven Airport in the Netherlands encountered a pitch-up upset and subsequent stick shaker activation. This potential dangerous situation occurred while the aircraft was flying on the autopilot and trying to capture the ILS glide slope to runway 21. During this approach, a false glide slope was captured. After the stick shaker warning, the crew increased the airspeed and executed a go around. The subsequent approach and landing was uneventful. The Dutch Safety Board found that this incident was not unique. At least four comparable incidents were identified in different countries where different types of aircraft captured false guide slope signals that led to inadvertent pitch-up upsets. Based on these findings, an industry-wide safety alert was published by the Dutch Safety Board. The Boeing 737 flight approaching Eindhoven originates from the south and is on a published route inbound to runway 21 when ATC vectors the crew to fly a heading of 310 degrees, thereby decreasing the flying distance. At this stage, the crew is aware of the need to reduce the airspeed and to increase the rate of descent. The speed brakes are therefore used. The aircraft is flying in clouds under instrument meteorological conditions. Both the autopilot and autothrottle are engaged. Unaware to ATC, a strong upper wind of 30 knots coming from the northeast pushes the aircraft towards the runway. When ATC vectors the aircraft to a heading of 250 degrees to intercept the localizer, the final approach segment was further shortened. The strong tailwind on final prevents the crew to increase the descent rate enough to intercept the glide slope. The crew configures the aircraft for landing by extending the flaps and landing gear early compared to the normal procedure. The ILS glide path is approached well above the normal 3 degree glide path, where approaching from below is the standard procedure. The result was that the aircraft flew 1000 feet above and almost parallel to the 3 degree glide path. The ILS glide slope antennas transmit two radio signals, a 150 Hz fly up signal and a 90 Hz fly down signal. When both signals are equal, the aircraft is on the glide path to the runway. The angle of the glide slope is usually 3 degrees. The investigation at Eindhoven Airport revealed that the ILS antenna has a reversed false glide path signal at 9 degrees. This signal reversal leads to a potentially dangerous situation where the aircraft, trying to capture the 3 degree glide path from above, receives a long steady fly down indication that suddenly changes to fast increasing fly up, which is followed by the automatic systems when captured. As a result, the autopilot will raise the nose leading to a loss of airspeed, which can lead to approach to stall condition. This phenomenon was unknown to the aviation community and incorrectly described in aircraft manuals. This unexpected autopilot behavior is dangerous, in particular during the landing phase. It leaves the crew limited response time to disconnect the autopilot and recover the aircraft. During the course of the investigation by the Dutch Safety Board, test flights were performed to measure the glide slope field. In these test flights, the circumstances leading to the incident could be reproduced. Furthermore, the measurements on three different ILS antennas showed that with this type, a reversal was always present on the 9 degree glide path and sometimes present on the 6 degree glide path. The ILS signal is regularly inspected and certified for operational use, which is in accordance with ICAO regulations. However, the upper limit of this flight inspection area has an angle of 5.25 degrees from the runway. This means that ILS signals above the angle of 5.25 degrees, which includes false glide slopes and glide slope reversal signals, are outside the required inspection area. 
the Dutch Safety Board recommends that aircraft are prevented to fly in the area of the ILS with reverse signals. In the unlikely event that aircraft fly in this area, operational or technical measures have to be taken to avoid pitch-up upsets.